Hi, I'm Mark Screen. I'm a chaplain, and this is Working Man's God, the channel for working men of faith and their families. In this video, we're going to look at the story of the feeding of the 5,000. Now, in the description below, you'll see a link to um, uh, John chapter 6, and you can read that at any time. But let me begin by looking at verse um, 11 of John 6, and this is what it says. Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same for the fish. The previous miracles that, um, that are in John show that Jesus will show Jesus performing healing type miracles for a sickness or an ailment. And but this particular miracle is different. He was still ministering to people, but this time he did something miraculous to meet people's needs. The crowds uh, described here, um, they were people who followed Jesus as he preached the word and healed the sick, and they traveled across the region with him. But they weren't committed followers. They were people who, in verse two it says, they were following Jesus because of the miracles he had performed. Now, in this passage in John, it says that there were 5,000 men present. But if you count the women and children as well, there could have been two or three times that amount when Jesus performed this miracle. And it as he is about to do this, he says to his disciple Philip, where shall we buy bread for the, for the people to eat? Now he said this knowing full well, uh, knowing full well there was no way to purchase any food. I think actually that he did it for Philip's benefit, even though he knew the answer. Because at the time, in Jesus' ministry, the disciples didn't, they were still coming to terms with who Jesus was and what he was about. But what's clear here is that Jesus saw the needs of the people before they were even hungry. The crowds that had been following Jesus had traveled long distances on foot some of them would have been sick, some of them would have been medically vulnerable. Their energy and nutrition uh, most certainly would have been depleted. They could have even been dehydrated. But Jesus doesn't blame them for their poor planning. He doesn't make them experience the consequences of you know, their poor planning. He simply says to them in verse 10, have the people sit down. And by telling them to sit down, he was placing them in a posture to receive. So right now, are you in a position to receive? In verse 9, the passage um, says that a boy had five small loaves, uh, five small barley loaves, and two small fishes. And Jesus took this food and distributed it to the crowd um, until they were full. But Jesus, he had obviously, he had obvious miracle, uh, miraculous behavior, uh, ability. He didn't just ha um, provide enough, there were leftovers. And Sometimes we call that abundance. And, and Jesus did just that. He provided abundantly for the needs of this crowd of people. As I said before, Jesus was aware of their needs before they were even hungry. Together, the three persons of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit know our needs uh, before we know what we need. 
In this case, the Son of God, Jesus, did this regardless of the crowd's uh, poor planning. The good thing for us is that a failure or a mistake on our part doesn't mean that we, uh, God won't meet our needs today. We just need to step out in faith and ask him to help us. And he's already prepared those resources for us to access. Just as Jesus, the Son of God, showed compassion for this crowd, God the Father in heaven is a compassionate God and he's ready to um, come to us in our hour of need. We just have to ask him for whatever help we need today. So just think about that right now. If, do you have a need that you need you know, power from beyond this world to overcome in order to get a breakthrough in an area of your life? If that's the case, I would suggest that you, you pause the video right now and, and think, give, give some time to think about that um, as we um, come together with a short word of prayer. As I pray, I, I invite you to join me right now and I, I want you to think about what you need as I pray this prayer. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you that you are filled with compassion for your people. Help us to trust you to access um, your resources in whatever area of need we have. I pray that we'll be mindful, that you'll be that we'll be mindful that you know our our needs before we even ask for help. You have the solution. We thank you, Lord. And we look forward to an answer to our prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. This, uh, this little study that we've done to right now is, um, I've had a little help, obviously, from God's Word, but this book as well, it's called 10 Minutes of Word, and this is the one for John. And um, if you want a copy of that, there's a link in the description to Amazon and you can get a copy there. And if you don't have a Bible, there's a, also a little link for an NIV Bible with a nice leather, um, leather cover. If you have any comments, uh, please feel free to, to leave them in the comments section below. Another way to connect with me is through Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And the links below will be below if you want to um, utilize those social medias. If you like this video, click on the like button. If you um, have a Google account or a YouTube account, click, uh, click on the subscribe button. And once you've subscribed, click on the bell and then YouTube will tell you every time I make a new video just like this one. We well, have a good day. And remember that God knows our need before we even ask for it. See you later.